morning everybody welcome to another day it is the last day of may and um if you watched my video from the last day of april you will have remembered that i talked about how horrible the month of april was because it was miserable you guys didn't know I was pregnant in April you didn't know that the entire month of April I was super 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 sick I was incredibly busy because oh my gosh all of her toys I was incredibly busy because of guard Rocky you're being annoying and school I had my finals I had all my final projects my presentation work wasn't going very smoothly I was having some problems there Rocky you're being gross um it was just not a good month. Like finding out I was pregnant and everything is exciting, but the in-between stuff, it was not a good month. So May has been slightly better and uh, hopefully June will be even better. We've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up this weekend and next weekend. Things are gonna start getting really awesome in the summer, so I'm excited. Madeline is here playing. Can you say hi? She's like, no. Okay, Rocky, you are being so annoying. While you're here, do you want to tell everybody what you did? Mommy is very, 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 very upset with you. Very upset. This one decided that he thought he would make a poop factory out in the kitchen. So he, like, he went poop in the kitchen, but he didn't just go in, like, one little spot. It was, like, a load here, a load there, a load over there. There were six different loads all over the kitchen and so now I have all of my floor cleaning pads in the laundry being sanitized so I can wash the floor. Um, Madeline's toy is out there and she, the running toy, the big circular one, and she will drop toys on the ground and her feet are on the ground and I'm not okay with her touching all of that gross disgusting stuff so I am going to be sanitizing the entire kitchen floor once those pads come out of the laundry. Um, the reason I'm putting them in the laundry in the first place is because I had already used them to clean the floor out here. So I didn't want to, you know, if they had peed or like anything like that, if there was any, you know, gross stuff on the floor, it's just, anyway, it's just smart to wash them before you use them so that you're not just spreading around more bacteria and more gross stuff. So that's what we need to do, right? And I don't think she's going to take her nap today. She took a really early nap for Danny, and then he put her to sleep before I got home, Joy. So um, usually he gets a nap, and then when I get home, she'll take a nap for me. But since he put her down for a nap before I got home, I she only slept for about 20 minutes, and then I woke her up. But I don't think she'll take another nap today. So she'll be up until she goes to bed at like 9 or 10 o'clock. So we'll see how the day goes. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Six. Huh? Triangle. Six. Boy, that's nice and loud and obnoxious. Can I turn it down a little bit? There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Are we a happy baby? Where? Yeah. Say, so hopefully it's almost bedtime. <laughs> Madeline is finally sleeping. It's almost nine o'clock. She really didn't fight me at all tonight, which is really good. So hopefully she stays asleep. I was here and I was putting new batteries in her toys because this one died and it needed new batteries and that one died, which we thought it died, but it's actually like dead dead. Like the, even putting new batteries in it doesn't work, so that one is dead dead. I cleaned the floor, so because Rocky decided he was going to poop all over the place, um, I set out some chocolate from Easter. <laughs> this is actually an Easter basket that Maddie got. Um, with all these chocolates in it. So um, she won't be eating those. So I put those out and let me go show you what the biggest accomplishment of the night is. All right, we're in Maddie's bedroom and this is what I did. So I got this padding for across the top because she kept standing up and then she would smack her forehead off of this or she'd fall over backwards. And um, actually, since I put this up, 
I put the one on the side up and she stood up and fell backwards and hit her head here and there's a lot of padding like I got a really super padded one so um, they're actually for teething so like they don't chew on the sides but I wanted it because she smacks her head off things and then we got the bumper here because she likes to spit her binky out and I also lowered this down there is only one actually two no just one there's only one more that I can lower this down. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to lower it down to here when she needs it. And then I believe she's going to be one of those kids that's going to um, come over the top and crawl out of this. And that's what I think is going to happen. So, anyway, this is what I did. It took a really long time because lowering this is a pain in the butt. Um, also, it was missing screws. Some screws were lost in the move and we didn't know where they are, where they were. So I had to get some new screws to put this back together. So she has not been sleeping in this and we will probably be transitioning her here maybe this weekend or the next weekend. We don't want to do it during the week since we work. We don't want to be up a whole night with her screaming because she doesn't want to sleep. So that is what we're going to be doing coming in the near future. So anyway, hopefully that looks decent. I don't know. At least it's safe. That's, that's really the most important. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. It just matters that it's safe. One more thing we actually did, and I haven't drained the tub yet, but um, I just got this. So this is like a little um, padding for, you know, your knees, and I can put it up here and just kind of keep it up there so it's out of the way if I want to. Um, it goes over here and then it suction cups onto the side so it's all padded. Um, we've got her new little um, pad down there. And then I got this cute little hippo. I think it's adorable. Um, it either, you can have the water come out of here or you can close it. Oop, water coming out. Or you can close it and you can have the water come out of the nose and it like squirts out. It squirts out really far. Like, um, it was squirting out to like right here. So I had her in the back of the tub and it was squirting out and she really liked it. So go ahead and drain the tub because I obviously don't need that water anymore. So anyway, this is her new bath setup because I took her out of her little tub. She was standing up in the little tub, which was really super dangerous because it was really slippery and there wasn't really any place for her to have her feet because of the way that the chair was in there. Like she couldn't really stand properly in there. And I'm like, well, she's trying to stand up, so I probably should transition her to the big tub. Still trying to stand up in the big tub. So if any of you have any suggestions on how to keep your child seated in the bathtub so you can actually give them a bath, please let me know because her baths right now last about five minutes because all she wants to do is stand. So I basically sit her down, give her a toy, wipe her down real quick, and then as soon as she stands up, I'm like, that's it, you're done. I might sit her, I've been sitting her down like three times, but after the third time when she stands up, then she's done. We're doing the, the one, two, three rule already. So yeah, if you have any um, tips or tricks on how to keep your child seated, please let me know. I am looking into the seats that like suction cup to the bottom and you kind of lock your kid into them. I'm looking into those, but I don't really know if they're super safe. So yeah, just if you have any tips, leave a comment down below and I will definitely read it and comment back. So thanks for that. I think it's about time for bed. It's past nine o'clock now, and I think I've done enough talking for the day. You're probably sick of looking at me. Uh, so yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, please. You don't want to miss out on our pregnancy journey that's coming up and all the things we're doing. And find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Check out our uh, personal channels down below. You can get weekly updates about the pregnancy, everything you want to know, other things about pregnancy and babies and whatever else I do. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.